Rangers tried to widen the gap at the top of the Metropolitan Division against the Los Angeles Kings on the road last night. Chris Kreider scored in the second period for New York to tie the game up at one apiece. Then minutes later, Quentin Byfield scored to put the Kings up 2-1, to one, and that would be your final score. Now here's Ryan Field with the rest of the morning sports. Good morning, everybody. It was a raucous atmosphere last night at the Garden as the Knicks played the Raptors and welcome back old friends R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly. The former Knicks getting a huge ovation as they made their much-anticipated return to MSG. You love to see it. They both made their presence felt early and often quickly to Barrett, the big time slam. How you like me now? 20 points for Barrett, 12 for quickly, but the star of the night once again, Jalen Brunson. How good has he been? After dropping 41 on the Wizards, 30 on the Rockets, had 38 in this one. Knicks in cruise control, and let's not forget who the Knicks got in that big trade with Toronto. OG Ananobi says good night. Knicks win their third straight, 126-100, the happy final. Earlier at the Garden, St. John's facing number 17, Marquette. Rick Pitino back after missing the last game with COVID. The Johnnies, though, without leading scorer Jordan Dingle, as well as three assistant coaches. Second half, Marquette up 10 and adding to it. David Joplin, the sweet string music from downtown. Don't look now. St. John's now 13 with six minutes to play, but... Here they come. Two and a half minutes left. Dennis Jenkins, the triple from the wing. That's good. The Johnnies suddenly down just four. Now to the final seconds. Down by one. Jenkins for the win. Uh-uh. A crusher for the Johnnies. They dropped their third in a row. 73-72, the gut-wrenching final. How about Seton Hall hosting number 18, Creighton? A wild run across the Hudson. Final seconds of regulation. Hall up two until this. Stephen Ashworth with the kiss. Just like that, we were headed to overtime and then some. Because one overtime wasn't enough to decide it. We went to double overtime. Hall down one, 13 seconds left. They intercept the inbounds pass, laid in to take the lead. But wait a minute. They called a foul. Shaheen Holloway can't believe it. Pirates sink one free throw. We would go to triple overtime. 30 seconds left in that one. Hall up one. When Trey Alexander drills the tray to put Creighton ahead for good, Seton Hall drops a heartbreaker 97-94 in triple overtime. Wow. Well, big news out of the NHL. The Islanders have fired head coach Lane Lambert. The Isles have lost four in a row to fall out of a playoff spot. Longtime Colorado goaltender Patrick Waugh will now take the reins. He last coached the Avalanche back in 2016. A special moment at the Rock last night. Legendary Devil... Sergey Breland getting inducted into the team's ring of honor. Breland led Jersey to three Stanley Cups over the course of his 13-year career. He's the first Devils player ever to be inducted into the team's ring of honor. How about that? Uh, it pretty much all went downhill from there, though, for Jersey. Dallas in town. Rupe Hintz had two goals. Stars crushed the Devils 6-2, the lopsided final. Hey, ladies, another night in the PWHL. New York facing Boston. This one belonged to Jay Downey Landry. She scored not one, not two, but three goals. Her first three goals of the season and a hat trick to boot. New York ships up to Boston and comes home with the 4-1 win. That is a very happy final. And now to the NFL playoffs. The Lions will look to punch their ticket to the NFC title game later today. The Bills host the Chiefs while last night's marquee matchup saw the Packers play the Niners in Santa Clara. And what a game this was. Third quarter. Green Bay down one. Jordan Love hooking up with Tucker Kraft. That's a touchdown. Green Bay would get the two point conversion to take a seven point lead. Remember, they were ten and a half point underdogs. But the Niners rallying late, down four, a minute left to play. And Christian McCaffrey put San Francisco in the NFC Championship game for the third year in a row. Niners hang on to beat the pack 24 21, the final. And in the AFC, you saw it right here on Channel 7. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens host. Hosting C.J. Stroud and the Texans, Baltimore up 10-3 in the second. Ravens punting to Steven Sims, and this is how you return a punt, friends. Sims says, see ya. 
finds a seam and goodbye. 67 yards to the house. Just like that, we were tied at 10 at the half. Good game at that point, but Lamar, he is the likely MVP for a reason because he was unstoppable in the second half. Finished the game with two passing and two rushing touchdowns. Ravens roll 34 to 10, and that makes John Harbaugh feel like dancing. Check out the head coach breaking it down in the locker room. You love to see it. The Ravens will now host the winner of the Bills and Chiefs one week from today. That is a look at sports. I'm Ryan Field. Make it a great Sunday.